Uh, for each of six archaeological excavation sites, the table shows whether pottery, jewelry, or statuettes were found at that site. So, you know, we have these sites over here, ABCDEF, and uh, it's given whether pottery was found on this site or not, jewelry was found at this site or not, and um, statuettes were found at this site or not. Yeah. Now, the question. For each of the following statements above, about the sites in the table, select yes if the statement is accurate based on the information provided, otherwise select no. So over here, we have to select yes if the statement is accurate based on the information. That is, if the statement has to be true based on the information, otherwise we select no. So let's say in case we cannot find that whether it is true or not, then also we have to select no. And if we find that the statement is false, then also we have to select no, right? So normally you will see this otherwise select no. So in both the other cases, in case you are not selecting yes, in both the other cases, you're going to select no, right? Okay, uh, so let's look at the statements now. Um, jewelry was found only at sites where statuettes were not found. All right. So, you know what? First of all, do keep in mind that when doing table analysis questions, you must use the sorting uh, feature whenever required. It will help you simplify the question. Like here, for example, I see jewelry was found only at sites where statuettes were not found. Then perhaps, you know, in case you're going to look at yes, and then you look at yes, you look at yes. All right. This is fine. But then it will be better for you to sort it. So let's say I'll sort it, yeah? All right, so now I have these three places where jewelry was found. Only at sites where statuettes were not found. In fact, I see that this is no, no, no. So at these sites, they were not found. So perhaps I'll mark yes over here, right? I'll say, okay, this works. So perhaps I'll mark yes over here. Look at two, jewelry was found only at sites. So again, jewelry was found only at sites where pottery was also found. Where pottery was also found, people will take a look at this. They'll say ah, pottery was also found at these three sites, but it was also found at C. And that is why a lot of people will, you know, erroneously mock it as no, that no, this is not correct. And we're going to talk uh, about how should you handle the question so that you do get the correct answer and what should make you think of that. Yeah. Uh, look at third statement. Statuettes were found at each site. So statuettes were found at each site. I have yes, yes, yes here. Where pottery was not found. Where pottery was not found. And you know, people are going to say, hey, there are three yeses over here, but there are two no's over here. Here also pottery was found. And that is why this is not the correct answer, which is again going to be incorrect. So people often will mark this as yes, no, no, or some combination thereof. But then that is not the correct answer. Yeah. And we are going to discuss now why and how do you get the correct answer. So um, look at each statement now. Jewelry was found only at sites where statuettes were not found. Guys, whenever we have this only, <clears throat> it should remind you of a necessary condition. You are given a necessary condition. What is a necessary condition? Only at sites where statuettes were not found, their jewelry was found. So in case I want to rewrite it, and which you're not going to do in the exam, but still, let's say if I'm going to rewrite over here, only at sites where statuettes were not found. So only where I have no S, no statuettes, for example, yeah, their jewelry was found. So there I had yes jewelry. Yeah. Now, if you recall from your content, you know very well that only statement here, this is going to be a superset of this, right? In only statement, in a necessary statement. So then I know that my no statuettes should be a superset of yes jewelry, right? Because it's, a, it's an only statement. I know it is a necessary statement. So it should be a superset. All right. Now, now look at where do I have um, jewelry? I have jewelry here and yes, jewelry is these three sites, A, D, and F. And look at where I have no statuettes. I have no statuettes here. So no statuettes, no is a superset of yes. I mean, they overlap over here, doesn't matter, but it is a superset, right? Uh, they overlap in this condition. So then anyway, your yes jewelry becomes a subset of no uh, statuettes. So then my answer to the first one is going to be yes. No issues over here, right? Now, this is exactly how we look at each statement very quickly. 
jewelry was found only at sites where pottery was also found so if i say only at sites where pottery was so only yes pottery yeah then jewelry was found so i have yes jewelry all right so again my yes of pottery should be a superset of my yes of jewelry this is what this statement says yeah where is my yes of jewelry these three sites are they a super set of yes of pottery they are look these three sites already have a yes there is one more yes on site c it doesn't matter so here essentially in this set i have adf and my c lies over here it perfectly works with my content with the given data in the table and that is why my answer over here is also yes yeah look at this one statuettes were found at each site where pottery was not found now this is nothing but a sufficient condition we have talked about this right uh, a sufficient condition is not only if a then b we have said whenever gives you a sufficient condition you know now uh, every time gives you a sufficient condition right so then here at each site every time is same as each site right so statuettes were found at each site where pottery was not found so this is equivalent to if no pottery because this is your sufficient condition at each site where pottery was not found there statuettes were found so yes of statuettes now here no pottery should be a subset because we said that when we have a, a sufficient condition then sufficient condition is a subset of your um, uh, of the of the main clause right we have discussed this in the content i hope you remember it, it is an important point especially when it comes to di questions it will be easier to apply your conditional statements if you think of um, uh, you know supersets and subsets right it is there in your content so if you don't remember it go back and take a look at it again all right then your no pottery should be a subset of your yes statuettes right all right so where are the no pottery no pottery are just two i mean of course i can uh, you know um, sort it by pottery if i want i see there are only two no potteries are they a subset of um yes um what statuettes yeah they are these two are the only ones which are no pottery and they are a subset of yes statuettes here also there are yeses and you know even if there are other yeses as well it doesn't really matter right so then i see that no pottery is a subset of yes statuettes so again my third statement also my answer is yes yeah so this is how you're going to uh, evaluate necessary and sufficient conditions it is important for look it gets a little confusing yeah uh, you know what is more and what is what is fewer it gets a little confusing so think in terms of that your suff your necessary conditions your necessary condition is a superset of your main clause and your um, sufficient condition is a subset of your main clause of course they can overlap it doesn't matter but in case there are going to be extra elements they will be in the only condition yeah keep that in mind and i hope you also remember how to convert one to the other yeah we'll not take it up today because we are looking at different questions but then uh, in case you are not very comfortable with that in case you have some doubts about how to convert a necessary condition to a sufficient condition how you know if a um, then b is equivalent to what in case of unnecessary in terms of necessary condition then you should go back and check your module once again because that is another thing that is going to come in very handy yeah all right so now we are going to go on to the next question i'll give you a couple of okay wait um any doubts over here 